Hey guys, DLR here, back with my second tutorial on redstone for you. Today we are going to be talking about inverters, or reverse redstone. Now basically what inverters do is they make it so that with something like a piston, instead of uh, extending, they actually retract when you hit a button or step on a pressure plate. So I'm just going to show you that this works. When I step on the plate, the piston retracts. Now in a normal rig like this, obviously the piston will just extend when I step on the pressure plate. So I'm going to tear into the guts of how this works. And the applications of this are if you have an automatic farm, all you do is stand at the um, collection point for your items and step on the pressure plate and all the water flows down by letting the water flow over the piston and you can collect all your items. Pretty simple and when you're ready to leave you just step off your plate. So if I go down here, you can see I just have this wire connected to a plate which is connected to a block which is connected to a torch, which is connected to another redstone string. Now currently, this redstone torch is powering this string, which is giving power to the piston. But when I activate the pressure plate, it will give power to this string, which will power this block and invert the torch. So the torch will turn off, and this string will turn off as well, causing the piston to go in. So it's really simple to do, but it is really useful once you get used to doing stuff like this. So uh, let me know if you guys want more tutorials. Um, I am happy to do them. I enjoy working with redstone. So even if you have something that may not be possible, still let me know. I'd like to hear it. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. See you guys later. DLR signing out.